run on Flux or Flux has basically announced in a weird kind of manner that they are working on the algorithm or I guess somebody's working on maybe a either this is an algorithm change or this is a minor update like a mining software update to make the algorithm run better on essentially AMD cards. So this is kind of a weird one. Uh, they tweeted a basically a screenshot of a Discord interaction from somebody named Greggy Bear in their Discord that said, thanks for uh, filling out the form above. I'll close the poll as I believe we have enough data at the moment. A hint, red cards can be just as efficient as green cards. Stay tuned. So obviously a big problem with Flux that we've talked about in the past is that essentially... Uh, it runs like trash on AMD GPUs. And this has been a problem with Flux, you know, in general, because once we do move over to, uh, f you know, the post-merge era and Ethereum going away, you end up in a position where there's really only so many G only so many mineable coins that AMD GPUs are efficient at, you know, ergo to a certain extent, but even ergo struggles, uh, Ravencoin on some, but not really. And so you just end up being on Ethereum Classic, which is getting overtaken by ASICs. So basically all of those Polaris GPUs, which we've seen like 40 something percent of all AMD GPUs are actually old Polaris RX 580 and 480 uh, GPUs, according to the Hivon stats, they're kind of just dead in the water. They're not worth anything. They don't mine anything and they don't mine anything very efficiently, you know? So, especially outside of Ethereum. So this will be a really important step, I think, um, moving forward for uh, the mining community as a whole to have another option for these AMD GPUs. So that's kind of what I'm looking forward to is kind of what ends up happening here. We are seeing, of course, basically some reports that the AMD cards will be functioning better. Now we have some more GPU news as well. The RTX 4060 series. They are fast and also power hungry. The rumors come from Qubit Leaks, who is supposedly sharing RTX 40 Lovelace specifications and performance claims over on his Twitter. According to the leaker, RTX 4060 Ti is pulling up to 270 to 280 watts of power while reaching 8600 score in 3D Mark time extreme. So, which is actually better than the 3080. The 4060 non-Ti gets around 6,000 points in the same test while consuming 230 to 240 watts, which is quite a lot for this class. The rumor would follow that other leakers have said, include Copite uh, 7 Kimmy, that supposedly the RTX 4060 cards are expected to be 220 watt plus design. That is quite high. Qubits also mentions that the 4060 Ti boosts up to 2600 megahertz while the 4060 goes to 2700 megahertz. Earlier tweets from the same user list the 4060 series specs as follows. The 4060 Ti supposedly equipped with the 8104-180A1 GPU and 6144 CUDA cores. This model would feature 10 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory clocked at 17.5 gigabits per second. The previously listed TGP was 275 watts for this class. This is an upgrade to as many cores as the RTX 3070 Ti and the two gigabyte more memory. The 4069 Ti gets a different AD106300 GPU, which is why it has much fewer, fewer cores, but a higher core clock and that's pretty standard uh, across the board when we look at the design differences between lower end models and higher end models. The RTX 4060 would see a reduced memory size to 8 gigabytes and a 128 bit bus at 17 gigabits per second memory speed. If the rumor were true, then the 4060 would have less memory than the RT current RTX 3060, which is hard to believe. Except seeming, I mean, honestly, it's not hard to believe 
because this has been a pattern that we've been seeing with the 4080 and the 4090 as well. They're cutting down the amount of memory and the speed of the memory and not necessarily the amount, sorry, the, uh, the size of the memory bus and the speed of the memory, which is reducing the overall memory performance. This is being done in favor of basically moving towards, you know, more L2 cache on these GPUs. And I think it's just an architectural shift across the board. Another note about this is that where most of the high bandwidth, high performance memory applications are headed to is the data center. So you're starting to see, probably we'll see really high memory bandwidth and that sort of focus on the data center side of things and not so much over here. This kind of started with the RTX, uh, or, or the RX, excuse me, from Radeon 6000 series when they started playing with the Infinity Cache. So it's not very surprising to me at all. It's kind of funny that they think that that's surprising when they've literally been leaking all the rumors for all of the other GPUs showing similar cut downs on the bus width and memory speeds. Now, that being said, the memory speeds are going up now as we looked at them on the 4080, but you know, you still have that cut down memory bus, meaning the overall speed is less, which is kind of the important part, um, especially for mining a lot of different algorithms. But you know, it might be a moot point at the end of the day because I don't think people are going to be looking at these cards for mining as much as we get closer to the transition to proof of stake. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Crypto Mining Show. You can check out the full episode here or more crypto content down here. Also, I'd like you to check out my locals page at sonofatech.locals.com where you can become a member for free or choose to be a $5 a month supporter that unlocks additional content.